I wanted to take some time to come and uh, talk about purpose and identity. Now, a lot of times I'll meet people um, and they find themselves not doing anything in their lives. And they'll oftentimes ask me, well, Cornelius, how is it that you found out what it is that you were supposed to do? What is it, what, what did you do? Did you, you know, people say, should I go to a seminar? Was it a conference? Did you hear somebody speak to you about something? Was it a mentor? What is it that, that helped you kind of find out what it is that, uh, that you were supposed to do? And I'm gonna give it to you like this. I wanna give it to you clearly so that you can really understand and you can grasp this concept. You do not get purpose from trial and error. The world tries to tell you, you know, do a lot of different things and then you should stumble upon your purpose. That's not actually how purpose uh, comes. We get purpose from our identity. Our identity gives birth to our purpose, for example. See, identity tells me who I am. Purpose tells me what I'm supposed to be doing. See, for example, with me, I, I, I preach. I'm a preacher, I'm a pastor, I'm an author, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a speaker, I mean, I'm, I'm a lot of different things. These are, these are all the things that I do. But pastor doesn't really define my identity. My identity is found in Jesus Christ. I'm a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am his servant, I am his follower. That means that that is my identity. I am found in him, he is in me, I am in him. And with that being said, because I'm a follower of Christ and because I'm passionate about the Lord Jesus Christ, therefore I preach. Because I'm passionate about my identity, which is Jesus Christ, then I write, then I speak, then I author. So I do, I do what I do because of who I am. You have to remember now, we are human beings, not human doings. The world tries to tell you, you know, when you when you when you're growing up, they put you in, in grade school, they want you to be there. And, and then, you know, you're in high school and everybody's telling you, everybody's asking you. So 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 what are you going to do when you grow up? What are you going to do when you leave here? Are you going to go off to college? And are, are you going to are you going to go into a, are you going to go into a trade? Are you going to go into the military? What are you going to do? Everybody wants to know what you're going to do. Then if you go to college, everybody's going to ask you, hey, you're ready to graduate. What are you going to do? Are you going to get a job over here? Are you going to do this? What? are you going to do? And then once you, you know, you continue to matriculate through life and they'll say, hey, well, well, now you're married. So what are you going to do? Are you in a relationship? What are you going to do? Then when you get married, hey, what are, what are you going to do? Are you going to have children? Everybody's interested in what you're going to do. We're not human doings. We're human beings. And a lot of us will do well to take a step back and evaluate our lives and ask, and ask ourselves, where's my identity? Where does my identity lie? Does my identity lie in the fact that, that I'm, I'm, I'm somebody to whom I was never created to be? See, a Christ follower means that his or her identity is found in him. See, my wife and I, we, we, our identity is one. We are both Christ followers. Therefore, we act based upon who we are. And your actions will always be birth based on who you are. So the question is, who are you? The question is not what were you called to do. I mean, it's a lot of things you can do. We all have gifts, talents, and abilities that can help us do whatever it is that we want to do. But ultimately, who are you? Where is your identity? What is your identity? Have you found that yet? It's something that you could live years and years of your life doing meaningless activity and never really know who you are? I've met men who have aspired to such high ranks. I mean, they've climbed such high ranks in their job. They've gone from the bottom of their position to the very top. I mean, uh, an office in the corner with big windows and they're doing a lot of stuff. But then when I sit down and I talk to them, the conversation is filled with a bunch of activity because they don't know who they are. They don't have a clue who they are. And people today are searching for identity, but they're searching for it in all the wrong things. Purpose does not give you identity. Purpose just lets us know what you do. I mean, it's great that you're a teacher. It's great that you're a firefighter. It's great that you're a pastor. It's great that you do a lot of things, but who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Where is your identity? Have you sat down? Have you really thought about that? And then for those of you who are married, 
Maybe that's just the question. Now, I'm married. That means that we are now one together. Who are we? Who are we? Now that we've come together, where is our identity? What is our foundation? Is our foundation Jesus Christ or is our foundation the world? Where, where does our foundation lie? Where is it that, 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 we, that we find our own comfort in saying this is our identity? Take some time. I mean, sit down. Ask yourself that question. Who am I? And then go to the scriptures. Christ followers. We go through the scriptures and we recognize we're Christ followers. So we look at what Jesus says to the disciples. And now we begin to get our identity based upon what the world, what, what, what the word says, not what the world says. We base our identity based on what he says about us. And from there we act. We're Christians. That means we give. That means we sacrifice. That means we forgive. That means we, 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 we give the same grace and mercy that we expect for ourselves. That means we act. That means we preach. That means we disciple. That means we assemble. These are things we do. But those things we do are only based on who we are. Take some time. Find your identity, man. Find your identity, lady. Get serious. This is your life. And it's all meant to be glorified and to provide glory for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Get serious. Do you have any questions there? I'm soaking that all in. Um, for anyone who, I guess, like I said, I guess I would ask the first step to kind of finding out who you are or, or how you separate. It's a deep, um, yeah. it's, a, it's, a really, it's a really deep, uh, deep idea. It is, because there's a lot of people that walk around today and they think that they are who they are. Based on what they do. Based on what they do, not who they are inside. Exactly. And who God exactly created them to be. And, um, yeah, that is deep. And that's definitely going to take some time. Yeah, I mean, and... and, and I don't want you to get too complicated with it. Again, it's very simple. Identity tells you who you are. Purpose really tells us what you are created to do. But you are a human being. You are a human being. You are a Christian. You you are you are in you are you are identified in who you are, not in what you do. And if we can get a world to understand they are not just, they're not just the actions by which they have made, but they are actually beings. You are actually an identity. And if we can get a world to finally understand that the world, this, this society should not define who we are as people. It shouldn't, it shouldn't have the ability to, 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 to prescribe adjectives to us that God never gave to us. We should have the ability to go through the word of God and be able to say, this is who I am based upon what God says I am, not based upon what somebody says I am, not based upon what the media says I am, not based upon what, what you know, mama or daddy said I am, or what they said I'm supposed to be. This is who I am based upon scripture. I am a giver, so I give. I'm a doer of the word because I believe the word, because I, 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 I'm, I'm passionate about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, because this is what I do. Missionaries, anyone who, who takes the world, who, who, who takes the word, anyone who bears their own cross, who continues to deny themselves, those are believers. And they bear their cross, they deny themselves because they believe. They found their identity. And once you find your identity, you become unstoppable. I mean, for years, I suffered from the idea that I didn't know who I was. And I was searching. I was, I was in that rat race with everybody else, trying to figure out what am I supposed to do with my life. And the whole time I sat in my closet, the Holy Spirit finally quieted my mind. And he said, it's not about what you're supposed to do, but rather who you are. See, man changes the actions of the beast. The, the, the man changes the actions of the beast. God changes the nature of the beast. God changes who we are. 
He changes the heart. Man only changes the actions. I could, I could, sit, I could take a guy and I could make him look like a good Christian just by giving him and by teaching him good actions. You know, this is when you get to church. This is how you can dress. This is how you can talk. You can articulate. You can do this. You can do that. Just good actions. But inside, his heart is still not with the Lord. God doesn't do that. God works on who we are. That changes us. If you really want change, find your identity. That'll give you your purpose. God bless you.